water is like insanely low. Like, I don't even know, like four to five to even six feet lower than the normal year. Like, it just sucks. Like normally, like you see out there, um, that would be all underwater. This, I don't know if you can see that far, but this pillar would be completely underwater. The trees up here, underwater. So it just, it's like, this is really bad for us if this is gonna be when our water should be the highest. Like I can't even imagine what it's gonna be like when in August when it's low. It's gonna be like, it's gonna be crazy. Well, we'll see if the fish have moved in here. The water's really dirty in here. It always is. There's crawfish in here. Bait fish, pumpkin seed perch, all the above. So, Good. Get the first fish. Can I pick up five from here? I doubt it. We might even go as far as trying to tie a spinnerbait on though. And fish. There's one. This is a big one. Big fish. Big fish. Big fish, man. Big fish. Oh, it's another nice football. It's not as big as I thought, but it's not small either. Come on, stay down. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. It's not a small fish. I just barely had him hooked right in the tip of his lip. What do you think, Georgia? What do you think? Yeah. Again, not a small one. I'm gonna release him on this side. See you, buddy. Thank you. That bank because both times I got hit in about the same spot, about the same depth, working the same speed. So. We can throw a pattern on it. Let's see if we can't do it a third time. There's a the fish. These fish are hungry. Hungry. Another good largemouth. I want to hit this. Come here. He actually he engulfed it. I want to hit my boat here though. I actually ate it when, it when I had some weeds on it. I had just uh, torn, the, I had crawled across the weeds. Again, another healthy fish, a pound, pound and a half maybe. Maybe two. See you later. Thank you. Fish. Came off. Oh, he came off too. I just lost two. With my, with my 
my craw in there. But. Yes, dude. Yeah. Ain't nothing huge, but it's a good one. They're all good fish, man. It's gonna boat flip him. Fish dog runs out, gets her licks in. What do you think about that? Beautiful bass, man. Beautiful. I'm gonna just drag this. I have the uh, have the weight to get it in the in the strike zone over there. And I'm just gonna. It stinks because I have to deal with this wind for like slack. But Tank, dude, a tank. I got Tank Williams. This is a medium heavy rod here, and he is just, he, he's just bending it. Come here. Dude, you, you ask yourself, did, did he want that jig? Did he want that jig? Because that is way down there. Oh my goodness, man. I'm having so much fun. I just wish that, I wish I didn't have a whole entire like gap of slack in my line. It makes it extremely hard to feel these fish. There's a fish. He wanted it too, little one. And this than I I would normally, but seems to be working. The last time I was fishing this jig was on like a rocky point for some smallmouth. My camera's at 17%. I don't know how many more catches I'm gonna get on film. If I do get the five pounder on film, I will film it on my phone though. So you guys can see that. The, the actual catching probably will not be filmed, but there we go. Oh, it's a good fish. This is a good fish. might be my five. This might be my five. This could be my five pounder. This could be my five. This could be my five. This could be my five here. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, nope. It's gonna go short. It's a five, but it looked a lot bigger in the water. The hook was just barely in that fish, dude. Wow. It's crazy, man. It's awesome. Really.